government in the eastern city of Tobruk. In Tripoli, where the other Islamist-backed government is based, the news was greeted with celebratory gunfire. For more on this, I'm joined now by Armin Jordan, our international affairs editor. Armin, what more can you tell us? Appears to have acted under duress. Uh, reports have surfaced uh, of militias uh, surrounding uh, the building, and uh, according to uh, one veteran journalist, uh, Omar El Tobji, uh, which uh, who's uh, been observing all of this, uh, he said in a tweet uh, in Arabic. I've got the English translation for you. The siege of the constitutional court by armed vehicles shows clearly that the verdict issued by the court happened amid awful terrorizing scenes. Now, according to a Libya analyst in the United States, who I speak to quite a lot about these issues, um, these are Islamist-leaning militias from the MLA, that is to say the Misrata-led alliance. That's more or less the same people who surrounded the Justice Ministry in 2013 and put pressure on on the government at that point to make sure that a key law uh, was going to go through. So it looks a bit like a replay of 2013 with essentially the rule of the gun uh, militias uh, putting pressure on uh, civilians in uh, which way the country goes and which direction it takes. What does it mean then for... for uh, did not act uh, of its own free will, in other words, referring to that uh, uh, apparent political pressure from, from, from the militias. Um, so we're getting mixed signals from uh, Parliament in Tobruk. It's not clear whether, in practical terms, it changes anything, whether MPs uh, are going to continue working or not, at least for now. Uh, the Prime Minister is still uh, going about his 